I think it was my 13th birthday or 12th birthday, I got a PlayStation, right? So my dad hates this thing. And so I'd plug it into the telly and I'd hide it in the, um, the little compartment underneath the TV. So he never goes there and checks. There's nothing in there for him, so he, he doesn't even go, go near it. So I've, I've always put it in there and plug it into the telly every time I play it. So every time I'd hear a car outside stop, so I'd run to the window, I'd check out the, out the blinds, and I'd check if it's his van, right? So his, his work car. I'd check if it's his. So if it's not, I'd come back, relax, sit down and continue playing. But when he'd come and rock up, mate, that thing would go in there quicker than you could click your fingers, eh? So hide it, you know, whatever. Cause as a kid, all the other kids used to have it and that I was the only one in my house that never had it. My mum was like easy, she'd let me and, and whatnot, but my dad, nah, he'd be one of those old school, go read a fucking book or whatever, or um, you know, do your homework or study something. Or All Balkan parents, Croatian parents, Serbian, uh, you know, from the former Yugoslavia. Um, Son had want to be a lawyer, doctor, um, I don't know, all these, you know, big occupations. That's, you know, something to be proud of, you know, my son's a lawyer, you know, something like that, if it's not sport, you know what I mean? So my dad was, my dad was for the sport thing, but he'd always be like, you've got to fucking learn, you've got to um, read, educate yourself, you know, you're training your mind and all that. I understand, like now when I look back on it, I understand where he's coming from, but as a kid, you're like, just give me a bit of a PlayStation or Xbox or something and just let me chill out and, and whatnot. And back in, in that age um, where my, my father lived and my grandparents, there was no time for sport, right? So you got to go, I don't know, you know, take the cows out and, you know, get the milk from them and, I don't know, the goats and the corn and uh, mow the grass and whatnot. And it's not, you know, the lawnmower that we all know about. It's the old kind of, uh, I don't know how to, I don't even know how to call it. It's what the Grim Reaper's got, I think, um, something like that. Um, so there's no time for sport. So in the village and whatnot, if someone, if one of your ch children played sport, it'd be like a shame to your family. You know, it's like, why isn't your son working? Why isn't your daughter working? Like, you know, you should be, you know, doing this or doing that, not going out kicking a ball. It's a waste of time. You know, we got, um, you know, things to do around the house, and you know, you got to live. Basically, what you what you made, what you grew, and everything. That's what you used to eat, and that's how they used to live. You know, so um, my grandfather always he's never changed that mentality. He used to, you know, he worked a little bit in a factory in Austria. Um, you know, for, for some years and that. Um, and that's, I think, the most uh, change of genre regarding work for him is where he got out. So um, he never really understood the concept of, of, you know, playing football and that. He always used to ask me, um, you, you're, still, you're still chasing that round thing? You're still, you know, chasing that ball? Joška um, Šloptu, he used to say. Um, How's it going and all that? Yeah, but he never he never seen me play in that. But obviously heard and and things like that. There's no cable TV in Bosnia and he can't get stream games. He doesn't know what's a computer and you know what that is and all that kind of stuff. But um, there was no time for those things, you know. So so when I look back, me now, I'm you know I basically live a fantastic normal life, you know, but. I'm really privileged to have what I have, but looking back at how my grandparents lived and how my father grew up, um, I remember him telling stories how he used to, he used to sleep um, on a river in a mill and in the middle of the night, so he'd make the flour, right? And that's what he'd do in the middle of the night, he'd sleep in the hay and kind of, like I couldn't imagine that. I didn't imagine going home and not sleeping in my bed, you know what I mean? So. Just to, I've been back to Bosnia where he grew up and I, you know, seen it all and all that. And just makes you look at things like, you know, I understand why he's like that, I understand. So you get to know, obviously, even my father better, knowing how he grew up, seeing those things and all that.